In this video, I want to show you how to program with the Sphero robot. So it'll look a little bit different on the iPad. On the iPad, you'll actually go down to the bottom of your iPad screen, and along the bottom you'll have these same options of Home, Programs, Drive. Um, so in this case, you're going to go to Programs, and on your screen you'll actually click on an X down in this corner, or actually a plus sign, not an X, to start a new program. But in this case, I'm going to go to Programs, click Create, and I'm just going to name this one Example. And it's block coding, so it'll stay on that. And it's this Sphero, so it'll stay on that. On yours, it'll be the Sphero Spark, S-P-R-K plus. And I'm going to click Create. So I'm just going to show you a very um, simple program. I'm going to um, program as if I want to just go in a simple square. So all I actually need for that are these, this block, and just four of them. So I will change the angle of each of them, and actually after I aim it, I will um, start at zero degrees, because I will just go on a straight line. So I'll aim it, and then I'm going to set my speed, and I recommend under 60, and let's say five seconds. And then since I'm going in a square, and if I, my first turn is a right turn, I'd go to 90 degrees. And then my speed, again, let's do right about 60 in five seconds. Again, since I'm going in a square and my first turn was 90 degrees, I'm going to add another 90 degrees to continue going around the square, and I'm at 180 degrees. Again, I'll go right about 60 or a little less. Here, let's go 52. Five seconds. If I wanted to do a decimal, I could do that for seconds. I could do 4.5 seconds. And again, I started at zero, then I took a right turn to 90, another 90 degrees to 180, and then my last turn to get all the way around the square will be at 270. And again, I'm going to set my speed and my uh, time. And for this one, how about I do a decimal just to show you that 4.5 seconds. Okay, and then I would aim, so I'd click on aim, and you can't actually see my robot right now, but if I had it on the floor, I would click around until I had it going um, in a straight line, and then I would click start, and my Sphero robot will run the program, and it'll go around the table, and I might have to change a few things, some speed or time if it's going too far or not far enough. Um, but that's the basics of how to, to create a simple square. The last two things I want to show you are lights and sounds. If you're just doing the simple around the table challenge, I first want you to, to get your movement down, but then you can go back and add some lights or sounds. So for this, I could add in here kind of a fun animal sound, let's say an alligator. So there's an alligator. And then say I want to change the lights I could add a light right up in here, and it'll be purple the whole time. And then when I click Start, my light will turn to purple. It'll go in its different directions. There you heard the alligator. It'll keep going. And then when it's done, I will stop it. That's it.